Why, hello, all of you beautiful people out there and my loyal minions. It's your hypno god, mastermind Fred Lee here. And smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell icon so you don't miss out on some new awesome stuff like this one. As it says in the title, this video is about to get lit. So let's get going. My first stop before the interview was lunch, so I went to Marufuku Ramen. It's a spot that's always popping with good reason. Got myself some takoyaki, and this time around they had spicy miso. All really good, but I ate extra carefully since I was wearing a white shirt the entire time. Went downstairs to Kisako Tea, and that's where I got my dessert. I got the tango, which is the three different colored one you see there, and the mitarashi, which is the one that's just soy sauce based. All really good. And it was about time to head over to the news station. And here is where all the magic happens. Welcome back into the show. He was recognized as a prodigy hypnotist at age 17, providing clients across the nation with his expertise. And joining us now to tell us more about his unique style of entertainment is mastermind Fred Lee. Fred, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thanks I for having it. me, Olivia. Want to see the full interview? Check it out by clicking the link in the description after watching this one. Close your eyes, lock them tight. Just squeeze them tight to the point you can feel your own eyelids. You're gonna feel the weight of your own eyelids. Not just nice and big, but you can feel the weight of your own eyelids. Perfect. And squeeze them tight to the point where you're like, every muscle fiber around them is just super tight. You can feel that, yeah? And then just lower your eyeballs and lock them here. And they're gonna stay locked right there. And they'll only open if I tap it on the back of the head. Otherwise, if you try to open them, if you feel it, if you try to open them, like someone puts super glue, sealing them, going and locking them, stuck, just completely, completely stuck. When you try pulling, it's just gonna stick even, they're just stuck, they just won't open. Try, feel it. Pull on those eyebrows, really, really stuck. So how's that feel if you try, mm -hmm. can, I, can I talk to you, how's that feel if you try to open them? Like, how, how's it feel? Should I try to open them? And you can feel, you can just feel everything stuck, yeah? Mm -hmm. And if you try, that's when, it's, that's, when it, that's when you really feel it, really test, really feel it. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. What does it feel like? What does your eyelids feel like when you try? Like heavy, I guess. Like pretty heavy? Like, mm -hmm. so you just feel wave? Is there any other sensation you feel as they're just stuck? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here's the crazy part now. Feel this? Feel this one. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's a little that quick so thing. Cool. Does Holy it thing. usually take like five, you know, like quick like that? Or there's some very like long and... As you can tell, usually, yeah. the best can do it quick. As I, just, as I mentioned on TV, most people take forever to get bored yeah. just about it like that. But I know exactly what goes on in the brain. I'm trying Thank to you. listen. All right. This is <laughs> done in three, two, say bye. All right. <laughs> so I just filmed the live at the bay segment, live in the bay. Big shout out to Olivia and her team for having me on the show. It was a blast and I enjoyed it. Also, for those of you out there that love this kind of content, the whole behind the scenes stuff, uh, whenever I get a chance to do these, I always film them and let all you guys know as long as you're subscribed to the channel. So smash that subscribe and ring the bell icon if you haven't already. Don't forget to like and share the video so you can see some more awesome stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. So fun little anecdote while I'm driving back. Um, so there's this one bit that I did with Olivia where I kind of did like the Jedi kind of like choke mind, mind not speaky thing where it kind of make her not prevent, well basically prevent her from saying stuff. And 
usually nothing comes out of the person's mouth or, you know, they draw a blank, something like that happens. But in her case, according to her testimony, basically all that came out of her mouth was the word Fred. And that's all that, which was pretty trippy. It's like, basically, if you substitute either nothingness or just what most people would re typically respond with is replaced with just a constant flow of Fred. I don't know. It's that was a that was a first in particular uh, when doing that bit. But yeah, I always, always, I always end up finding some trippy stuff hypnosis wise. Either things like that where somebody does some the somebody does something unusual or different, and in other cases where uh, something totally unexpected happens, like you know demon possession, quote unquote. Um, but yeah, that's just a little thing that I wanted to just share.